Hey everyone, my name is Donald and in this video we're going to show you how to add Google Analytics to your website using a free plugin. So right now we are in the back end of our website and we want to go ahead and click on the overview under the pro settings. Once we do that, we're going to go ahead and navigate down to Google Analytics and hit the install button. Once this is done installing, we're going to go ahead and activate this. And we're going to click on this button and we're going to go ahead and navigate down to where it says Google Analytics and we're going to go ahead and click activate. Once this is done activating, we're going to go ahead and navigate underneath the pro to Google Analytics. We're going to go ahead and check this box and it's going to ask us for our analytics code. So let's go ahead and navigate over to that part of the video. Once I'm in the analytics section of the Google Once I go to the analytics website at analytics.google.com, we're going to go ahead and navigate to, um, this is their main page right here. So if you just type in uh, analytics.google.com, it'll ask you to sign in. And once you're signed in, it'll bring you to your analytics. Now, if you don't have any analytics, it's probably going to ask you to create a new property. From there, we're going to click admin and we're going to go ahead to all of our analytics and we're going to create a new account. From there, we're going to go ahead and just type in all of our account information. Um, the name of the website, right here, the website name, the URL, whether it's HTTP or HTTPS, and we're going to click in, we're going to type in the, um, the URL address. Now, I'm only showing you this on a dev site. I do not recommend installing analytics on a dev site. Um, I'm just showing you this for video reasons. Uh, go ahead and select your industry category. I usually choose other because none of them apply. Um, the reporting time zone, so whatever time zone you are in, which I'm going to choose Eastern. Uh, I leave all of this checked and then go ahead and get tracking ID. You're going to go ahead and accept their terms of service. And once you are there, you're going to go ahead and see your entire tracking ID. And you're going to see the script right here that the website needs. So we're going to go ahead and copy that entire script. Navigate back. And we're going to go ahead and paste it right there. And you can go ahead and, and drag this down if you need to see all of it. But that's the entire scripting code that you're going to need to put inside of the head of your website. And you're going to go ahead and click update. Now, once you've updated, it's going to give you a, a huzzah. All the settings have been successfully saved. So as of right now, you are completely done adding analytics to your site. Navigate back to the analytics part of the website on Google, and you guys can wait 24 hours before viewing your analytics data. There's nothing here because A, it's a development site, and B, we just made it. Um, give it about, tw I would suggest making your analytics account and adding it 24 hours before you launch. This will give you enough time for you to get your reports when you launch the website of people who are going in there. Um, another suggestion I would make is for the audience. If you go underneath of audience and go under demographics and then click on overview, I would just hit enable. Now what this lets you know is it tells you the age, the gender, and a few other things about the users that are coming to the website. So I always enable that option under audience demographics overview. From there, you have a completely functioning website with Google Analytics. There are a few plugins that you can install that allow you to see the actual analytics of this website on the dashboard. Um, I rather not do that because it just bloats up your dashboard more and it's more requests that your website has to make when in reality they have an app for analytics that you can view on your phone you can look at it on your um, desktop anything like that and if you need to add more users to your analytics account so that you can share it with your clients you can just navigate to the admin section go under user management and then you can just go ahead and add permissions down here. And then you can say what you want to allow them to do.
I would suggest adding analytics to all of your websites because it's free and your clients get to know where their traffic is coming from, which is always a great way for them to figure out where they want to advertise or just see how their traffic is coming and where it's coming from. If you guys have any questions, please let me know in the comments below. I hope you guys have a great rest of your day. Thanks.